Hey everybody, it is Wednesday night and it's time for Super Geeked Up! Woo! Yeah! <laughs> What's up everybody? Uh, my name is Jeff. Thank you very much for geeking out with us. This is your live weekly geeky pop culture show. Uh, we talk all the time zany geeky topics and play some fun improv style games. Uh, tonight, uh, my guest co-host is Mark Spile. Hello everyone. Who has the most amazing tick hat on, <laughs> as you see there, uh, ever, that he got at San Diego Comic-Con. Uh, thanks for joining us, man. Uh, we have two very cool guests tonight uh, from Classic Alice, Kate Haggett. Hi. Hello. Thanks for joining us. Hey, and uh, the amazing, tightly titled Rock God of Podcasting, Charles McFall. Yes, that is me. That's <laughs> a right. much cooler intro. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. You know, you need, you need to come up with a name like that. Sorry. <laughs> Fireworks. So I guess. You know, it's, it's be really like good. I'm the I'm the goddess of <laughs> like a Khaleesi esque uh, link. There you go. Yeah. All I'm right. Sorry. Thanks for being here. She's the Khaleesi of comedy. Oh, there you go. Ooh, there That's you go. good. That is good. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Uh, all right, folks. Uh, so we're uh, we're gonna do some uh, geeky discussions here and some games. Uh, we got coming up. Uh, if you're in the live chat, uh, please comment along there. We love hearing from you. Uh, we'll share your comments as we do the show. Uh, you can also tweet us at Super Geeked Up. I actually see things on both platforms going on. Uh, Blair Beverage uh, says, let's rock it. All right, very cool. Uh, Blair is actually going to guest co-host next week. Uh, and uh, Victor Snyder uh, is in the chat. He actually says, that is not Marx. It is the world's greatest hero, the tick. <laughs> <laughs> Why, yes, it is. <laughs> um, Lister's mate in the chat says, is Kate Hackett related to Buddy Hackett? Not that no. I, no, <laughs> Buddy I, Hackett was a stage name. <laughs> he was a Jewish comedian actor from ages ago. No, no relation. <laughs> all right, cool. Uh, <laughs> uh, we have Anna Doe and uh, who else in the chat here? I think I got everybody right now. Uh, over on Twitter, Charles Churchill says, damn this two-minute delay. <laughs> I, don't, I don't actually think it's that much. I think it's about a 20-second or so delay, but I know. Uh, it's all right. Uh, let's see. Dezels on Twitter says, oh, my, ha at Hacky Kate has the best cat tower in the background. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, Thank let me put on. Oh, that is, wow, that is very elaborate, actually. <laughs> I, have, I, I live in a freaking zoo. <laughs> so... <laughs> Cool. And uh, Carlos Bathory is also watching us on Twitter. All right. Thank you, folks. Appreciate it. All right. Here we go. Let's get right into We like to get into our Geek Tweet of the Week question, uh, which we send out. And I also put a poll up on Facebook, which will reveal the results later. But, Marks, what is that question tonight? <laughs> the Geek Tweet of the Week is, what fictional movie world would you love to live in? Why don't we kick that over to Kate? What fictional movie world would I want to live in? Um, so, okay, it, uh, it's a book series, it's called, um, it's the Thursday Next series, have you, have, have any of you heard this? No, no I haven't actually, what is it? Okay, so, this character can travel into books. Oh, nice. So that's, that's where awesome. I would live, <laughs> yeah. So wait a minute, is that, is, is that a book series or also a movie? It's a book series. Okay, so... So you just decided to basically totally not answer the question, but that's cool. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> she has Khaleesi. She does what she wants. Yeah, she's like, fuck you, Jeff. I don't care what you ask. I'm just going to do what I'm I I'm sorry. My brain heard movie and substituted fictional. It's a movie in your brain. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? That sounds like it should totally be a movie, though. So I'll give it. That's right? Fine. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm really so, sorry. <laughs> no, that's fine. You know what? Actually, I'm, I didn't hear about that, and it sounds good, so I'm glad you mentioned it, because now I can check it out. Good. Right. What is it called? Thursday Next? It's the does Thursday that, Next series, yeah. Does, okay. does it happen to her every Thursday, or what's a Thursday? That's her name. Oh, okay. You know what's weird? Blair Beverage a little earlier said just on Thursdays about something. I don't know. Maybe, like, somehow he knew you were going to say that. <laughs> psychic. Ooh, psychic. He's, yeah, he's again. Wow, all right. you're impressive, Blair. <laughs> all right. Uh, Charles, what's your choice? I am torn, man. I'm torn because. By the way, Charles is going to tell us a video game or something now instead of a movie. <laughs> oh, no, I'm, I'm offended. I, I'm going old school, man. I'm offended that you, you would say that about people like me. Um, no, because she said drunk. I'm going to say you're going to like just come up with your own. I'm, I'm messing with it. Uh, but I'm torn. Labyrinth is such a 
beautiful world to play in, right? The Labyrinth with David Bowie. Uh, that would be amazing. And then the other one that really calls to me is the Chronicles of Riddick, where they have planets with space dragons on them, and they've got necromancers and all this crazy stuff going on in that galaxy. I, I think I think I'd have to. I think I'd have to live in the Labyrinth because it has Muppets. But my second choice would definitely be Chronicles of Riddick series. Good choices. Uh, so in the chat, Victor Snyder says the never ending story. That's a great choice. Oh, I love that, I that movie as a kid. That'd be awesome. Anado uh, says Ready Player One has all in one. That's my choice. That's smart choice. Anado. You know, is that somebody you know? Yeah, he, he he's followed many of my shows in the past. Oh, so that, cool. That Thank you, out. sir, for watching. That's a great choice because Ready Player One, basically, any video game from the 80s, at least, you would ever want yeah. to do is in that. That's a great book, actually. And Spielberg's doing a movie of it next year. Coming up. I saw the, the trailer. It looks great. Yeah, I was actually at San Diego. I got to go to the well wait, Mark, you were there too, right? Yep. Yeah, yeah we got to see the we got to see their footage they showed in Spielberg and everybody talked was about it. Is it good? Yeah, it looks pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Yeah. Uh oh, Anado says, Love you, Chuck. <laughs> Thank you. Do you go actually I don't even know. Do you go by Chuck rather than Charles? I haven't called No, Charles. I do not. I, oh, <laughs> right. uh, I don't I don't make a thing out of it. As soon as you make a thing out of it, everybody just does it. Okay. So, no. But it's all right. He, he's he's been a cool guy for a long time. He That's gets cool. one. All right. Oh uh, yeah, we have some other podcasters here in the chat. Uh, Hero Movie Podcast says Back to the Future. I mean, you can go to the future or past for that matter. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great choice too. You're great right. Scott. Uh, Marks, what's your choice? Well, actually, I kind of know because you told me off air, but tell the audience unless you changed it. <laughs> Whenever any story would be really cool, actually. But uh, you know, it's classics. Um, it's torn between Star Wars and Star Trek. Mm. Star Wars would be cool if, if I was a Jedi, uh, although there is a lot of war. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, and, but Star Trek would also be cool because you have the holodeck, you explore, you've got unlimited supplies, everything. But but if I was a Jedi, Star Wars, your lightsaber. <clears throat> yeah, you know what? I'm kind of in the same boat. I'm so torn between those two because it's my favorite movies versus my favorite shows. Um, I don't know, man. The holodeck alone almost is like enough just for me to choose it, you know, because I so want a holodeck because you could do anything you wanted. Uh, oh, God, man. But I don't know. I don't think I can not choose Star Wars. It's just, it just too important to me, you know. And like you said, if you could be a Jedi, I mean, come on. What's fucking better than that? Yeah. Well, that didn't work out for those kids too well. So. <laughs> well, I don't want to be, I don't want to be one of the paddle ones that Anakin kills, if that's what you mean. Yeah. <laughs> Let me be after that or early. Or let's go old Republic. Let's go old Republic. Oh, there you go. Nice. nice. They're so rare after that, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, you keep giving your answers in the chat or on Twitter, folks, at Super Geeked Up. Uh, let me reveal, like I said, I did put this up as a poll on our Facebook page. Um, let me give you the top five here, uh, starting with the end. Two people actually, we got two, tie, uh, two shows or movies tied. So this will be the fifth spot. These both got 13% of the vote for what movie world people wanted to live in. Uh, we have X-Men and Princess Bride. Ooh. Yeah, Princess Bride's a great choice, right? Oh, that's right? a good one. Yeah, I love that movie. Yeah. So much. Oh, it's a book, too. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it started as a it's book, a actually. Book. <laughs> so it was you know X-Men. <laughs> <It's, laughs> <laughs> you know what's funny? I actually own the book, but I've never read it. I, oh, I you should. I saw the movie first. Is it still gonna? Even though I've seen yes, the movie no, first, because he wrote he wrote the screenplay, yeah, and he wouldn't let anybody do anything with it. Right. Like he wouldn't let anybody touch it. So it's like very, very, very close. Okay, cool. Sorry, I'm laughing in the chat because Blair Beverage says, "By the way, Kate loves books. Not sure if you got that." <laughs> oh, I know. It's not. It's not. Uh, in third place at our poll is Harry Potter. Yes, Yay! Also I, I really want to go to Hogwarts, man. Uh, I still wanted to attend that when I was reading those books. Um, in second place, uh, sorry, so Harry Potter got 16% of the vote. Now, I'm not surprised by these first two, uh, these top two. I actually thought it'd be a little closer. Uh, but in 19% of the vote, it's Star Wars in second place. Um, and in first place, with 31% of the vote, it is Star Trek. It actually won quite or fairly handedly. Uh, so, uh, yeah, so there you go. A lot of people That's want to because go if you're like on Earth, it's super peaceful and nothing ever happens. A lot of people said that. It's like the one place they wouldn't have to really worry about dying so much. If they're... There's a lot of thought that went into this. 
<laughs> we really reasoned debate. <laughs> Dune. I want to live in Dune. Nobody oh. wants to live in Dune. <laughs> yeah, that's not so good a place. No. <laughs> All right, there you go, folks. That's our geek tweet. Uh, again, feel free to um, keep giving your answers in. If you're watching and post, the poll's still up there, or you can tweet us your answers at Super Geeked Up. Also include books, guys. <laughs> all right, you know what? I'm going to do, I'm gonna do I have to do a book poll just to make Kate happy. Just all books. Yeah. Uh, all right, so uh, let's go to our first geeky game. Uh, we got all this stuff coming up. We're going to talk to our guests, Kate and Charles. Uh, we're going to do Real Plot or Not. We're going to talk some Obi-Wan Kenobi movie news, Joker, Helly Quinn movie news as well. Um, uh, in the chat, Victor says, phasers are always set for being cool, all right, for Star Trek, for being the choice. And Blair says, books, yo. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I cool. get it. <laughs> okay. Uh, right now, though, we're going to play our first geeky game. It's called Universal Translator. So how this works is... Okay, actually, first, before I explain, let me, um, you guys in the chat need to help me out or on Twitter. Uh, so what, we're going to have a, a Klingon, and uh, this other character is, so Charles actually told me about this. I wasn't really aware. So I guess they're called Jadoon. They're from Doctor Who, and they are cops that look like rhinoceroses, basically. Space basically, cops. Yeah. Space rhino cops. Okay. So we have, <laughs> a Klingon, so cool. we have a Klingon warrior, and we have a space rhino cop in the scene. Folks, I need a suggestion for what, where are a the space rhino cop and a Klingon, or what are they doing in this scene? All right, so throw me some suggestions in the live chat or on Twitter that can help us out. Um, so, uh, or, or give me some kind of some kind of crisis that they need to solve together. All right, give me something in the chat. Anyway, uh, Marx is going to play the Klingon, so he's going to be speaking in Klingon because he said he's an expert oh. at it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I'm going to translate into English what he is saying in Klingon, okay? And then uh, Charles is going to speak in Jadoon, mm -hmm. and Kate will translate for him, all right? By the way, in the chat, uh, Hero Movie Podcast said Space Rhino Cop is the name of my metal band. <laughs> 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 um, Blair says for the scene, they could be comparing poops. No, don't do that, is what he says. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Jeez, <That's> so gross. <laughs> So gross. Um, Victor says the Klingon is mad about the parking ticket. Oh, that could be good. <laughs> this cop could have given him a parking ticket. Um, Nor Norbert in the chat says the translator game. I'm quite happy. I'm only watching. Don't have to do this myself. Jajun are great, by the way. Hey, look at that. Somebody else knows about Jajun. Good. They are cool. They need to bring them back. Yeah. That, the only that, one yeah. episode? It was early. It was in the second season, I think. It was pretty early on. Yeah. And just one time? They never did them again? Yeah. No, they saw it once or twice, but it's not a whole lot. Yeah. Not enough in my book. So. <laughs> okay. All right. You know, let's see. I like, I like the idea about the Klingon getting a parking ticket from the uh, Space Rhino Cop. So why don't we go with that? <laughs> um, all right. So you guys ready? So we're going to start off. <clears throat> By the way, do they? I'm just I'm curious. Did, did you do like? Do they fly around in space vehicles? They have to. So it, it's more of a big scale thing, like NATO. They're more like NATO. They show up <laughs> when there's been an infraction of some space massive code where people aren't supposed to be doing something or somehow, or you know, they chase down the big aliens. The first time they show up, they actually take a hospital from London and put it on the moon to investigate some alien hiding in there or something. I forget. Wow. Well, what could be more of a huge issue than a parking ticket? Well, obviously, <laughs> yeah, that would be involved in this. Yeah. Uh, by the way, Norbert wants to know in the chat, is the Cookie Monster doll participating in this? <laughs> no. Yeah, Charles has an awesome cookie, four-foot Cookie Monster behind him. You know yeah. what? That would have been cool if somebody did Cookie Monster. Yeah. <laughs> All right. We'll do that next time. <clears throat> okay. So here we go. Uh, the Klingon has gotten a parking ticket from the Space Rhino Cop. Uh, Mark, you'll start it off. I'll translate for you, and then we'll go to Charles, and then we'll keep going back and forth like that. All right. <clears throat> How dare you give me a parking ticket? I only was away from my bird of prey for like two minutes. 
Loc pro so to flow no show to plo show plo plo no flow go flow no show go flow show po plo doco blow so to too bad math cool not ya wahoo you have offended my honor I challenge you to a duel, but right after I eat this gawk. Ro plo co no show go plo do show plo fo show plo plo do co plo so to co no go. Okay. Yup du jo mal da dub kabla kaju. Uh, your insolence is very annoying. <laughs> um, I'm taking out my back left right now, and I will cut your head off if you don't rip this ticket up. Coho blow. Listen, I understand that you're upset about this, <laughs> but we have a lot to get through, and I need to continue on to my other ticket writing duties. Cut low. <laughs> <laughs> yes well i understand that's very important uh to you i don't really give a shit about your ticket writing duties however <laughs> um, that has no bearing to the klingon empire uh i'm going to call our invasion force to take over whatever the fuck your race is called <laughs> flow mo show shaft show tro no do there's really no need to get so upset about this, sir. It's a small parking ticket. <laughs> you don't understand. Money does not exist in the Star Trek universe. <laughs> I cannot pay this ticket unless I get some Ferengi involved and their Go Plus Latinum. And I hate dealing with Ferengi. They are the fucking worst. <laughs> Coho blow row low flow so mo cofo blow low low block co plo mo. Sounds like a you problem. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's wrap it up there. That's good. <laughs> Very good, guys. Nice job. That language is the like the most ridiculous thing. <laughs> is that really what it sounds like? They just <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I actually went I found the translator. I typed some stuff into the translator and <laughs> yeah, they quote word for word there. There's a translator for Jadoon. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's pretty cool. But that's, that's exactly how they sound. <laughs> so All cool. right. Uh, now some people like Lich and they are trying to uh, write that language now in the chat. Very <laughs> good. <laughs> uh, Anna Doe says, well done. Cla put a clap emoticon. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, All right. Here we go. That was Universal Translator, folks. Uh, let us know if you like that. Uh, all right, let's talk to our guests now, see what they're up to, and then we're going to do some geeked up news. We're going to do a real plot or not. We've got another geeky question. Uh, keep chatting away there or tweet us at supergeekedup. Uh, oh, hey, I got a question on Twitter, actually, from Lister's Mate. Uh, it's sent to everybody, but I'm going to assume this is directed mainly at Kate. It says, do you like real books or ebooks? Oh, um, well, <laughs> I, I prefer real books, but... The ebook was really convenient and nice when I was traveling because I could just check out books from the library in France, like wherever I went. It was nice. Nice. But I do like paper. Good. I agree. Yes, I still like I still like a good paper book. That's how I feel. I mean, you, you can't roll doobies with an ebook. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> what? Wait, who called what? them doobies even it's just what popped yeah, wait why would you i hope you're not ripping out the pages of your book <laughs> to do that well it's certainly not with an ebook <laughs> <laughs> um uh by the way in the chat victor says he'll never illegally park again i guess you really scared him with your uh, final <laughs> Um, Hero Movie Podcast says ebooks killed my grandma. I hope not. What does that mean? <laughs> what? Like, I, do you mean she was so distraught that real books are going away? <laughs> I think I think Hero Movie po Podcast is uh, Adam Portrace, uh, who will be bringing the preacher. Is, it, wait, is, is that Adam? 
I think that's Adam, yeah. And, and that's true. That's awesome because we'll talk about it later. But Adam's going to be co-hosting Super Geeked Up at Dragon Con with me. That's right, yeah. So that's great. Uh, great, Adam. You could tell this wonderful story at Dragon Con about how you <laughs> killed your grandma. <laughs> It'd be wonderful. Uh, he says, ding, ding. Okay, okay. It is Adam. Good. Okay. There we go. Yeah. Good call. <laughs> All right. Anyway, uh, let's go over to Kate. Uh, all right, so Kate, you know what? When we talk about your first, your new show, not a plan. I'm going to tell people yeah. about that. Sure. Uh, it's actually, it's pretty geeky. We got a lot of nerdy references in there. We talk about Game of Thrones and Battlestar and all manner of dorky stuff. Um, <clears throat> but the, the plot, the very loose plot, is these two friends of the same birthday and they have to plan a birthday party together. I play a complete slacker, so very not me. Like, she's kind of adrift in the world. And then my co star, Chris O'Brien, plays a uh, very, like, straight laced you know, we got to get stuff done kind of guy. And it's obviously a disaster because they're both ridiculous. So Matt is on Funny or Die right now. You can watch the whole thing. Uh, we are also releasing it on Facebook and YouTube. So if you want to watch it on Facebook, you can go to my Facebook page, which is actress Kate Hackett or on YouTube. It's just uh, Kate Hackett. So. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Very cool. All right, guys, check out Not a Plan. Uh, what about you want to talk about Classic Alice? Sure. Classic Alice was a web series that ran for two years on YouTube, and then we moved it on over to Amazon, uh, so you can watch it there. Watch it there. YouTube sucks. Uh, <laughs> mm. So that's the story of this is a this is books, guys. Sorry. Uh, that's the story of a girl who gets a bad grade on a test and decides to live her life according to different classic novels. So we did 13 different classic books uh, of her living her life according to these different things. Nice. Did you have a Did you have a favorite? Um, I kind of love. So we started with Crime and Punishment because I personally thought that was the worst fucking idea, and it made me laugh so much. Uh, so she's trying to live her life according to a book where the first thing that happens is he murders someone, and uh, so I thought that was funny. Um, so that's my favorite. All right. Awesome. Uh, in the chat, PVT Topol, maybe that's for Private Topol, possibly says a great web series about Classic Alice. Oh, thank you. In the Twitter, Dezel says, "Ah, yes, Hackett Kate makes fantastic series, but makes my <laughs> reading, but makes my reading challenge goals look bad." No. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, and I'm sorry. Yeah, I don't think anybody probably reads as much as Kate from what we're learning from. That's uh, not true. I'm sure someone out there does. <laughs> like, I'm sure one person. <laughs> yeah, and we hate each other. <laughs> <laughs> You're always <hard> minded. <laughs> Um, you're, you're on Goodreads and go, no, she didn't. Oh, you're picking <laughs> up a notch. <laughs> um, in the chat, Blair is suggesting that every time Kate mentions the word books, everybody has to take a drink. I think that's yeah, a great idea. Awesome. Yep. I think that's an awesome so, The whole chat is going to be so drunk after this. It's not going to be fun. <laughs> All right. And uh, before we move on to Charles, you want to tell me about the Patreon you got going yeah. on? Yeah. Uh, so I have a, I mean, I know you guys do too. Uh, I have a Patreon. It's patreon.com slash Kate Hackett. And uh, I've been kind of like kicking it into high drive this month and doing really well. And it's been kind of encouraging. So uh, I'm opening up new perks and new things. And it's basically a way for people to keep in touch and to like watch what it's like to be a writer and an actor in LA and see behind the scenes kind of stuff like that. Um, so if that's of any interest to anybody, that is what it is. They get stuff that nobody else sees and that kind of, you get it. You get to go on Patreon and read it and it's all great. <laughs> so. Awesome. Cool. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, and, and, and Kate and uh, Kate and I actually, I think we're going to do some kind of cross Patreon yeah, stuff, yeah. right? Yeah. That'll be good. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, what, what's the, what's the actual, uh, where can they go to the Patreon? Where can they find it? So it's patreon.com slash Kate Hackett. All right. Easy enough. Yeah. Cool. Uh, awesome, folks. Yes, please support Kate. Support us if you can. If you only got a dollar, give Kate 50 Yeah, cents. I mean, even 50 a cents. buck is, like, fucking fantastic. It means I can quit my day job. <laughs> Which, oh, I hear you, man. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right, so Blair says, Classic Alice is amazing. I recommend it highly. Wonderful show. Oh, thank in, you. In the chat. Uh, Private Topol says, if we did that drinking game, we would die. And Dezel says, Blair, you're trying to kill us all. <laughs> <laughs> And Victor says he reads traffic signs, not books with traffic signs. Okay, excellent. 
<laughs> All right, let's go over to Charles, uh, who was known as the rock god of podcasting. Uh, you want to talk about your different shows? Yeah, so the rock god of podcasting is at rockgodpodcasting.com. And I do, it's, it's the way I describe it is Tony Robbins motivation meets uh, Kevin Smith storytelling with the naughty sauce on top right there. And some Jim Swilly uh, truth seeking and uh, soul searching and really stories from my life of just telling people what I've learned and what I've done and then how to get what I want out of life and help them out that way. It's just really raw and real. And I have a lot of fun doing that. Then my geeky stuff can be found at giantsizeteamup.com. That is the network that I run, along with Paul Klotz, Chris Wisdom, and Brian Ibbett. And we do all kind of cool geek shows like Breaking the Panel, which is news and fun stuff going on, and social issues related to comic books and, and the superhero movies. And uh, we like to, to say we're the view of comic books. <laughs> we really just take the the topic, right, what's going on. Maybe there's... Uh, something blowing up in religion versus comics or, you know, the new movies coming out. We just really talk about our opinions and discuss things from different points of view that way. Um, and then, of course, uh, Dragon Con. Dragon Con is coming up. Yeah, before we get to Dragon Con, which I okay. totally want to talk about, let me share some chat stuff real quick. Uh, Victor says, what if I was drinking before the live feed started? Well, you have an awesome <laughs> head start, sir. Uh, so good for you. Uh, and then Dezel says to Blair in the chat, you're still... You haven't taken me up on a dance off, let alone a drink off. Okay, I absolutely now want to see a dance off between Blair and Dezels. And since Blair's on our show next week, Blair, I think you need to do the dance on the show next week. That sounds amazing to me. And then Dezels, you can film yourself and send it in. Do your dance. <laughs> That's a tough dance off. You know what I mean? Like, there's no rising level of competition for this one person. I don't, well, I don't know. They're not. It's hard to do. They're not in the same place. One's in Australia. One's in LA. Text-based dance off. Like just to describe the dance. <laughs> oh, describe the dance. Okay. Maybe because uh, Blair says no in the chat. So <laughs> if it's text-based, maybe you can do it, Blair. Maybe that'll be better. <laughs> uh, all right. Yes. Let's talk Dragon Con. Uh, I'm excited. It's going to be my first year at Dragon Con. Uh, I'm going to be on a whole ton of panels, but uh, why don't you, uh, Charles, since you've been doing it a few years now, right? Tell people about Dragon Con. Yeah, it's it's really, really cool. started in the basement of the Hilton. The whole thing started, I think it had about 1,300 attendees the first year in 1987, where it was just about Dragon, uh, uh, Dungeons and Dragons, doing tabletop stuff. And it's grown from the basement of the Hilton to where we will actually be. The podcasting track will be in the basement of the Hilton, so we've returned to where it all started. Uh it, go, it goes all through the Hilton, all through the Marriott, West End, Hyatt, and Sheraton. So it's just this massive. I think we're expecting 80,000 people this year over the four day oh. weekend. Yeah. And it's, 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 well, like what Jeff, or uh, not Jeff, uh, Mark was saying off air before we got started was that uh, it really is it's big, but it's small. You know, you actually, I've run into many celebrities uh, walking through the halls like Carl, Carl Urban and Brian Brushwood and those kind of people. And uh, you get to do the panels. The signings are easy. But like the podcast panels, we've really, on the podcasting track, have tried to mix the fandom and the business of podcasting and new media. I mean, we don't exclude YouTubers or anything like that. I mean, making media on your own. Well, it used to be, right? Your podcast was audio. YouTube was video. But now it's, you know, we, we've, we've got an armistice going on. It's all right. <laughs> um, <laughs> Uh, but we really try to mix the fandom of, of bigger shows coming in, like Welcome to Night Vale is going to kick off everything this year, and you'll be able to talk to them after the panel, and that's really cool, to how to start a podcast or how to do audio, your basics, those kind of things. And uh, so anybody's interested in doing that or just seeing the people they listen to or see like Jeff, Jeff's going to be there this year bringing Super Geeked Up Live. It's going to be amazing. And uh we're very much looking forward to the live shows and the, the how to panels. Awesome. Thanks, man. Yeah. Uh, I've, I've heard nothing but awesome things about dragon Con for people who have been there. Uh, I'm really looking forward to it. Dazzles in the chat says, I want to go to dragon Con." Um, Blair Beverage says, I really want to go to dragon Con too, but he's going to be, a fan, <laughs> he's going to be a fan expo that weekend. Um, so, uh, and then Blair says, Ooh, night Vale is amazing. Norbert says, this sounds like just the best convention. Hey, there you go. <laughs> there's something for everybody. Cosplayers. I mean, it goes from how to make your own cosplay to um, there's some real adult-oriented panels after 10 o'clock. And it's, there's just something for everybody. Is what we'll say. You'll find your niche at Dragon Con, and you'll feel like you belong. It's really so cool. Like books? 
<laughs> you know what? There's Authors Alley where all these guys, people who I always say guys, I meant generally, you know, men know. and women who are, are there uh, doing uh, Timothy. Off the top of my head, I can think of Timothy Don. Golly, I'm Timothy Don. Yes, him. He'll be there. Uh, tons of authors. Um, they have uh, Butcher. Right Butcher's going to be there. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, Butcher's usually there. Uh, just. All kind of people, and they should have their own area where you can just go get in line to get their. That's autographs. so sweet. They like separate the nerds mm -hmm. from the rest of the geeks. They're like, <laughs> you have to stay over here. You're not. You're not really. <laughs> so, well, I can tell you, the line to get into Authors Alley <laughs> is longer typically than the line to get into the Hall of uh, the Walk of Fame, as they call it, where all the TV movie celebrities are. Oh wow! So, yeah, that's cool. Uh, cool. It is really. Yeah, there's something for everybody. It's really cool. Uh, in the uh, chat, Hero Movie Podcast says, yes, there's a ton of book stuff. Yay! Um, and uh, Blair says, Jeff, you must go to Last Night on Alderaan. Do you, Charles, is that a, you know what that is? is that a Alderaan? Last Night on Alderaan. Is that a oh, that's character? one of the parties. Yeah. They, oh, man, there's so many parties. There's there's Star Wars themes parties like that. There's a Doctor Who ball. There's the superhero ball, which is Avengers, and I think it's Marvel and DC, but I mean, it's Dude, there are so many after hours events and parties and movies. There's screenings. There's all kind of cool stuff. Awesome. Uh, folks, so yeah, if you are at Dragon Con, uh, I'd love to see you there. We are doing Super Geek Up Live Saturday night uh, at 8.30 p.m. Uh, at the Hilton in Galleria 6, which is like it's a part of the podcasting track. Uh, and Adam Portrace, Hero Movie Podcast, is going to be guest co-hosting with me. He's in the chat right now. So that'll be a lot of fun. Um, you know, if you ever seen us at cons, it's, it's even more fun, I think, when we do it you know, on stage and we get people to come up with us, volunteers, and have a lot of fun. And we've got some cool prizes we're going to give away. Uh, and actually, I'm, I'm going to be doing a lot of stuff there. I'm going to be doing a total of 12 panels, actually. Whoa. <laughs> I, <know. laughs> I think you're doing about as many as I am. Oh, wow. You're doing that many too? Cool. Yeah. And we're um, actually, actually, we're on a panel together. We are. We're, yeah, we're judging these heroes versus villains game, actually. Mm -hmm. like, it's like a Cards <laughs> Against Humanity game. Um, but I, I actually, last night, put up my full schedule, uh, the supergeekedup.com page. If you go to the events page of the website, you can see all the panels I'm on all the times, locations, all that stuff. Um, so I'd love to see you there. Please come up and say hi if you are going to be there. Uh, I always love meeting That's people. That's really cool. At Con. Yeah, yeah. And uh, so the other panels I'm doing, by the way, it's, it's a lot of DC stuff, actually. Um, so like Arrow and Supergirl and DC Cinematic Universe and actually Wolverine. There's one Marvel thing. Uh, but so Mark's and I, you know, do the DC action hour. So that's right up our alley. Uh, I'm doing a couple of gaming panels and I'm doing one of uh, social media and film panel as well. So I'm on, kind of on a bunch of different tracks. I get to participate in. I feel like I need to grab one of my cats and put it over here. Cause you know, my cat oh, showed her now too. Kids yeah. Got, got her dog. <laughs> I can, if you want, I'll, I'll lend you a cat. I can just like, <laughs> throw it on the computer. there you go. Yeah. <laughs> If this was Star Trek, you could just transport it over. God damn it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, cool, folks. Uh, anyway, DragonCon is September 1st through the 4th. It's Labor Day weekend uh, in Atlanta. Like a, a bunch of, it's uh, spread over like a bunch of different hotels, like mm -hmm. uh, Charles said. And uh, I actually, you know what? I did not realize it started as Dungeons and Dragons. That's where the name DragonCon came from. So that was good to know. I didn't know, I didn't know that either. If you are going, get the app. It's free and it's a lifesaver. It has all the maps of the hotels. It has everything you need to find. You can look up Jeff in the app by name, and you can look me up in the by name as well, and you can see where we're gonna be. So, you know, I gotta squeeze one. I can't just throw you out there, Jeff. I gotta toot my own horn, right? <laughs> of course. <laughs> <laughs> but no, you can look up everybody who's a professional or a guest, and it's the maps. So the maps are a lifesaver because the hotels can get confusing. Yeah. Well, and obviously. They, they're going to be looking you and I up the most. I mean, who cares about people like William Shatner and, uh, you know, people from Flash and stuff. They're going to be looking us up on the app. <laughs> <laughs> As they should. Um, what is the app? Just I got to actually, I got to download it myself. Is it just Dragon Con? Is that what it's called? Yeah. 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 All right. One word. Cool. Should be one word. I'm looking. Right. Yeah. There you go, and folks. Do they still have Dragon Con TV? Oh, wait, let yeah, me put actually, here. they do, and it used to uh, it was just in the the conference area. Then it grew a couple of years ago to the host hotels. And then last year, it went to the host hotels, and there were two other hotels in the area that could get it. They basically, you'd have a channel in your hotel room that you could watch whatever they're broadcasting. This year, you can actually buy a ticket, a virtual ticket, to see all the main panels on DragonCon TV. Cool. Uh, so check out DragonCon.com uh, for the information on that. But that's new this year. So uh, if you can't make it and you want to see cool stuff, check that out. 
Sweet. Awesome. <laughs> uh, and folks, actually, DragonCon is no, at least what I hear from everybody, as like the best cosplay, I guess, of any convention, pretty much, you'll see. So I'm looking yeah, forward to that. Sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, in the chat, Norbert had said, they're talking about cats now in the chat, because uh, you brought it up. <laughs> um, Norbert says, I never saw a cat in Star Trek. And, and as Victor actually tells, it actually Spot mm -hmm. uh, was the cat of Data. Data's cat was Spot in Next Generation. There was a cat in there. Yeah. And Archer had a dog. Yeah, Victor says black cat. Actually, spot was orange. Um, he's just oh wait, what, what are you showing me here? Wait, wait, put it back on the screen. Put it back. Yeah, I'm trying. I'm trying to show the app. That's what the app oh. looks like. Oh, dragon cat. Okay, cool. Nice. Yeah. Hey, two dollars off a tie dye T shirt. All right, awesome. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's that's worth it again just for that. Yeah. <laughs> all right, cool. Uh, yeah. So that's Dragon Con. Uh, hope some of you're going to be there. Like I said, Charles and I will be all over the place doing stuff. Um, all right, cool. Uh, and I'm trying to get Marks to go next year. Yeah, I'm going to try to go next year. I need to go back. Yeah. And then, Kate, an hour. And then Kate can go. And she can just come to our panels. She can just like, go in four years or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> so I want you to come there and like come to like one of our panels, which is about like movies or something. Just say, well, wait, I want to talk about books. We talk about <laughs> books. <laughs> no, she so could be that, that person. <laughs> she could be that person. Was the movie as good as the book? No, no it never is. Why do you ask? You know no. it's nice. Yeah. Uh, Blair says, because about the tie-dye, he says, that's the app from 40 years ago. Right, so. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right, let's do some Geeked Up news. Then we're going to play Real Play or Not, and we got another geeky question. Uh, Marks, what's our first Geeked Up news item? All right, well, uh, there's been an announcement that there's going to be a Star Wars Obi-Wan Kenobi film. It's in the works. They got an Oscar-nominated director uh, that's working on it. I believe it's Stephen Daldry, uh, who worked with Billy, Billy Elliot in the hours. He's in early talks to direct that. Uh, there's, you know, they haven't written the script yet, so there's no real clear idea of um, what time period it's going to take or if they're going to bring back, uh, you know, um, Oh my gosh, I'm blanking on name. Uh, the actor who played Kenobi. Oh, Ewan McGregor. Ewan McGregor. Ewan McGregor, yes. Ewan McGregor was, is on top of my mind. That's show. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, so I don't know. We'll see if, if he'll come back or if it's going to be an earlier or later version of him. Um, I hope well, it's... He, he said he wanted to. He's, yeah, he's he said he's interested. Said he wanted to do it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, who wouldn't? <laughs> right. Yeah, well. I hope it's not a... Maybe a nice middle-aged Obi-Wan Kenobi. Like, <laughs> Midlife crisis Obi-Wan. Get, get John Hamm to play him. <laughs> <laughs> so an article I read was um, theorizing about what different time periods they could set it in, and they thought the most likely was uh, in the time between episodes yeah. three and four. Uh, yeah. I think that's the most interesting. So that makes sense, yeah. 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 That'd be cool. He, do a lot with that, yeah. Hermit Obi Wan. I don't know. It depends on what they could do between films uh, seven and eight for Obi Wan Kenobi. You know, see what the spirit world's like. See what he's doing <laughs> on the other side. Yeah. Says nobody was jumping on that. I had to fill in the gaps there because I don't want you to think I don't know my I, Star Wars. I want to see him and Trek Wars. All right. Him and the ghost of Yoda and Anakin going <laughs> yeah. off on adventures. It'd be great. It's like comedy. Yeah. <laughs> lots of big Crosby and Bob Hope movies. Bro, bro <laughs> the force. <laughs> That's good. And then they all appear. They appear to Luke in episode eight. It's like, why are you so depressed? Like, dude, become a spirit. It's so much fun. We're having a great time. Just jump off the rocks and join us. You'll be fine. Ray will be fine on her own. You don't need to teach her. <laughs> Oh, that'd be great. I'd watch that. I'd watch that. <laughs> a weird buddy comedy ghost yeah. version of Obi-Wan? Yeah. 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 Uh, you know, it's something the Star Wars universe does not have enough of. <laughs> <laughs> ghost buddy comedy. Uh, in the know. chat, Blair Beverage says, Obi-Wan, the Tatooine years, I hope. So he, uh, he's hoping for that time period. And that makes so much sense. I don't know yeah. what else. Like, that's such an obvious one. Uh, Hero Movie Podcast says, if you've ever asked yourself, what did old Benny for breakfast each day, you're in luck with this new movie. <laughs> <laughs> it's just him in his cave, like every scene. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You know, they, they had rumors that 
uh, Ray would be the you know like a grandchild or something of Obi Wan. So if they yeah, do yeah, yeah. that, a lot of people theorizing that. Yeah, that would be a good way to uh, get the background on that. That would be better than having her part of Luke's family, like some people have. I, how could she not be part of Luke's family though? Like. I don't know. She's not. So, are we, are we saying the end of space? The end of space Jedi's is a redneck trailer park where they all just inbreed into one family. Is that what we're trying to say here? The saga has always been about one family, though. Like, it's just about them. Yeah, but the so, saga ends in eight. Yeah, does it? Because Disney brought it back. <laughs> That's true. Well, the saga should have ended, but yeah, it's not not going anywhere anywhere soon. Uh, <laughs> Victor says, Obi-Wan and Jar Jar Binks together again. Oh, God. <laughs> and they get stuck on the planet Ewoks. That'd be great. Have you guys seen, I'm sure you have, the, the crazy Jar Jar Binks is actually a dark Sith Lord. Yeah. I kind of love it. <laughs> like, because I can just pretend it's true and then watch those movies and be only... 98% truly disappointed in them. <laughs> because there's this like cool sub story that doesn't go anywhere. That would be that would be quite a twist. Right? Yeah. Uh, in, Blair in the chat says Ray Palpatine. Oh, so he think maybe Ray could be from Palpatine's line. Cool. Okay. Yeah, that'd be cool. That, would that be actually nice would twist. be that actually would be very cool if she was from like <laughs> the Sith side, but she became a Jedi. And then um Oh, this is a very important comment, folks, in the chat. XC says, I and my family own a manufacturing company in New York. We make about $10 million every year. In do you have any suggestions for business growth? Yes, I do, sir or madam. Uh, I suggest you give all your money to us and Kate Hackett Patreon pages, and that'll help you out a lot. And if Charles has one, give some to him as well. I, here's a, here's, I got a Patreon. It's patreon.com forward slash Kate Hackett needs more books. If you donate, I'll buy her stuff and send them in. <laughs> I'm all for it. <laughs> Maybe that could do to help. It's awesome. <laughs> uh, all right. So there we go. There's Obi-Wan movie. Next is another movie. That actually just came out. This came, news came out today, earlier tonight. Uh, that there's going to be a standalone Joker and Harley Quinn movie. Uh, we already knew Harley Quinn was going to be in Gotham City Sirens, along with Poison Ivy and Catwoman. But uh, she's going to be joining the Joker for another movie. Uh, Glenn Ficarra and John Requa uh, from uh, Crazy Stupid Love are going to be, uh, I guess, directing this one. And uh, this is super early on. Obviously, they just announced this. It's supposed they're going to do, I guess, a Suicide Squad sequel first. Then they're going to do this movie. Uh, I don't really know anything else about that, folks, to share with you. Except they say it's a criminal love story. That doesn't really tell me anything, to be honest with you. That I think we couldn't have guessed. Um, Anyhow, what do you guys think? Did you do? You, are you looking forward to the, like a movie with Joker and Harley Quinn? Uh, Margot Robbie and Jared Leto are reprising their roles, just in case you're wondering. Yeah. Oh wait, what, which one was that a yuck to? Both or just Jared one? Jared Leto. Uh, you didn't. Well, so what about? I think Margaret Robbie was great. Yeah, I like her. yeah she's great. <clears throat> Do I like? Yeah, that, she's fine. <laughs> Jared <laughs> Leto is my problem. <laughs> you know, I don't. I actually, I didn't have a problem with it. It, it just, it's a different Joker. You know, every Joker is a little different. So kind of I think along with this, I. I I'm looking it up now, according to Newsarama, and I've seen some other reports that basically Scorsese is to produce this movie as well. Really? Yeah, it's like really? a humongously talented group of people doing this. Yeah. And I was reading, I, I mentioned this earlier, someone on my friends list at some point, so I don't know if it was an industry person or not, so I have no idea if I'm telling you something I shouldn't. Um, <laughs> but the thing I read was like it's supposed to be a – an origin story for the Joker or like backstory for the Joker. And part of the interest in him is that he doesn't have this backstory and he doesn't have like, that's part of his kind of mystique. And my friend was like, Oh, I'm so disappointed in this. It's everybody I really, really like is involved, but the story, I don't want I don't want that. And I'm like, well, sorry, friend. <laughs> <laughs> it's like when you try to explain what the force is. <laughs> right. Well, other than weird non-sex children being <laughs> nowhere, I think the force makes total sense. Yeah. <laughs> yeah right. Excited for that part. Uh, by the way, folks, sorry, I forgot to share a tweet from earlier from Anthony. Uh, we were talking about the dance, doing a dance contest with the text. Kate said he said it would be called Text Text Revolution. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. I like that. Um. So let's see here. Well, 
You know what? I don't oh, – Hero Movie Podcast says you don't get it. The Joker is made up of midichlorians. <laughs> 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 You know, I actually, I'll be honest with you, I don't know if I've ever really, I don't actually know if I want Harley Quinn to be around the Joker because I think it's just such a terrible relationship for her. <laughs> like, she should really be just out on her own, away from the Joker, hanging out with, you know, like, her other lady friends there, her Poison Ivy, Catwoman, having a good time, uh, causing trouble. Learning uh, about herself, finding what she thinks yeah. you would really respond to in a partner. Like. Right. Realizing she doesn't need a destructive, kind of abusive <laughs> guy. <laughs> But he makes her laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Great. They swiped right. Yeah. <laughs> Villain Tinder. I, I, that's how I I think they met. It was Tinder definitely not Bumble? I don't know. I don't know what Bumble is. It Bumble went, it went the, in Farmers Only. <laughs> no, Bumble is the one where girls message the guys first. Oh. So, yeah. Interesting. All right. Yeah. I kind of think it would be on Bumble, wouldn't? Don't you think that she takes the lead in that? She whole... would be on Bumble, but I don't think that particular relationship would have happened on Bumble. Okay, I got you. It's like, yeah, I've thought a lot about this. <laughs> so, here, so Hero Movie Podcast. Uh, I guess he does not <laughs> like my idea because he, he quote, says, "I just want Harley to meet a nice man and settle down." Thanks, Grandma. <laughs> <laughs> Fine, Adam. Well, that's what I want. Uh, Harley needs to make a nice lawyer. Just make some babies. <laughs> All right. There we go. That's that. Uh, let's see. Last bit of uh, geeked up news is uh, Terminator 2 is actually being released in theaters on August 25th. Hey, that's just two days from now. Uh, uh, on uh, 3D, actually. They're going to be releasing in 3D. And uh, so... Interestingly, in some of these articles that came out about it, uh, that I didn't know this, that uh, instead of Robert Patrick, Billy Idol was originally set to play hmm. the T-1000. That'd been neat. And uh, but he got injured. Um, he got into a motorcycle accident. He messed his leg up, so he couldn't do it. Um, and so then Robert Patrick got it. And uh, yeah, that, that, I don't know how well that would have been. <laughs> <laughs> It was good. I, I'd have to say, out of the Terminator films, for me, that's probably one of the best ones. Yeah, I think that. Uh, yeah, I mean, every, that's a landmark film, right? Everybody. I the yeah. first Terminator actually is my favorite. It's actually on like my top three list, probably of all time. I think it's just a groundbreaking science fiction film. But T two is amazing. Yeah, it's an amazing film. So well done. Um, anyway, what do you guys think about three D for T two? <laughs> I'm not usually that big on three D, but I guess this is a movie that could make sense. I know when it came out, 3D was how you had to see it, right? Because all the effects. But uh, now I don't know if it'll hold up after Avatar and other things. When uh, when they re-released Jurassic Park in 3D, I had never actually seen it. I was I'm too little for I was too little, so I hadn't seen it in theaters. And the first so the first time I saw it in a theater was on 3D was in 3D. And it was fucking amazing. Like, yeah, that's, it, yeah. I don't, I don't know the term. I actually don't know the Terminator films at all. I'm really sorry, guys. Um, well, because it wasn't written as a book. Park that's why. Was <laughs> I'm sorry, what? It wasn't written as a book. That's why you don't know it. Right. I mean, Jurassic Park was. It, yeah, it was. Yeah. Yes, sure. Oh, um, I was dress, Jurassic Park is the one you saw in 3D for the first time. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and it and I'm saying like it held up really, really well. Like it was. Was it as I, good I as the book? Like, <laughs> I, I was riveted. So possibly you'll have the same reaction. I don't know. Maybe. I think that T one thousand liquid stuff could be cool. Yeah. You know? That would be really cool in three D actually. You're right. Yeah. I like that. Uh Mad Drek just joins in the chat. He says three D bleh. That's your opinion. <laughs> should be my opinion too, to be honest with you. I hope uh, Chris... he joined the chat, said that, and immediately left. Yeah. Like No, he actually did. He's actually Madrek's a good buddy of ours in the chat. He, he joined <laughs> No, that would be great though. And Chris Halley was also in the chat. Uh, he joined. Thank you, Chris, for watching. Um, but so there's two things I've learned about Kate today and on the pre-show as well. She likes to talk about books, and she likes to remind us how young she is from the rest of us. <laughs> really? Like, you're oh, like, I was too young for that, guys. I didn't see that movie. It's just that one time. And then you're like, well, I'm a millennial, guys. So I don't know what you're talking. Oh, about. Oh, well, that was oh, a okay. weird joke. <laughs> 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 uh, all right, we get a Kate. We're old. Okay. Uh, 
Right. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, all right, there we go. That's, uh, that's our Geekdom news uh, for the week. Uh, let's go to our Zen Geek Tweet question. Then we're going to play Real Plot or Not. Hey, uh, Marks, what's uh, this actual question? Was sent in from Anthony, Dave, Anthony Davis, Lister's Mate 2 in the chat. This is actually one of our Patreon rewards because he's a Patreon supporter that you can send in these geeky questions we will discuss. So thank you, Anthony, for your support. Uh, everybody else who's supporting us on Patreon, thank you very much. I know Victor in the chat also supports us. Uh, and uh, you can go to patreon.com slash supergeekedup if you'd like to support us. Francis Fernandez has joined us. He was our guest co-host the last couple of weeks. All right, cool. Hey, Francis. Uh, he says, if they remaster everything and teach you, then do the 3D business. I think it'd be worthwhile. All right, cool. Uh, all right, Marks, what is this question for Anthony? What fictional role and actor in that role do you most identify with? I like how you read those very dramatically. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> That's all, that, wait. That wasn't the question that we were prepared for. What fictional role and actor? Sorry, I left out the parenthetical. Yeah, when I read it, <laughs> surprise. <laughs> I didn't well, know. I'm gonna go with me. But you can't choose yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I like her answer. I'm going with her too. <laughs> we can choose you. We can choose you. Um, oh, by the way, Madrick says 3D. Screw you guys. I'm going home. So he is leaving now since you said that. Shit. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank you for complying with the bit. Um, all right. Does anybody act? Well, I don't know. Just a fictional character or actor, whatever you want to do. I don't care. Uh, okay. Anybody have a choice? Anybody they? Uh... Yeah, I, I. You know, honestly, is is interesting as it sounds. I really relate to Neo in the Matrix movies where he had no idea what he was supposed to be doing. And then once he tapped into it, he became, I'm not saying I'm the best at what I'm doing. I'm just saying he really became good at what he does. And I, I like that. And also I like Keanu Reeves and the stuff he's done, honestly. I mean, not every single film, but I'm a fan. I dig he's it. apparently like a crazy nice guy. Uh, you know, there was a story where some lady crazy fan broke into his house uh, maybe last year sometime, and he just calmly sat down with her, called the cops, and just had a conversation until they showed up. <laughs> yeah. he, That's nice. That's I, believe that he's, I believe he's a nice guy. You know? Yeah. <laughs> cool. Uh, in the chat, Catnip Ninja just joined us. It's been a while. It has been a while since we've seen you. Thank you for joining us. That's a great – I just love the name, Catnip Ninja. <laughs> <laughs> Um, all right, so good Matrix, uh, Neo and Keanu Reeves, very nice. Uh, you know what? I guess I'm going to go, I guess since I'm such a Star Wars fan, we've been talking about it all the show. I'm going to go Luke Skywalker and Mark Hamill. Uh, he's my favorite character from that movie, and, you know, he's like, you know, doesn't really know what he's doing at first, but he wants to do the right thing, and he learns to be totally badass. So, uh, yeah, and I, and I think I've always liked Mark Hamill a lot in that role. He just, I think, brings the right to that young character in the journey that he goes through. Marks or Kate, do you have any choices? Um, Hermione, I think. Okay, Dead. yeah. Um, so, and then I, I also, not book Marjorie, but show Marjorie, I also really, really identified with and really liked her. Um, she's very uh, driven and smart, and I, I just liked that. Okay, so, awesome. Sorry, you don't watch Game of Thrones. It's Game of Thrones. Okay, thank you, thank you for clarifying. <laughs> I appreciate it. She's very young. <laughs> no. <laughs> cool, but her, Hermione is actually my favorite character from Harry Potter. So oh, really? Yes. Yeah, I like her. Um, her learning, you know, rules are great, but sometimes you don't. They're not right. Uh, you don't, you have to move beyond them, and being there for your friends is more important than a grade. Like that's that's stuff that resonated. <laughs> nice nice uh in the chat victor says have another beer kate said book okay yep Go ahead, guys. <laughs> you drink an entire beer every time i say book oh he's <laughs> wow yeah, most people can't get a sip i think he's barely having a whole beer wow seriously wow <laughs> that's that's botched level drinking right there uh so, i want to see drunk, some drunk tweets now yeah <laughs> <laughs> uh Victor says R two D two saves the day in all the movies. That is true. Is that who you relate to, R two D two? That'd be cool. He does save the day in all the movies, doesn't he? Uh, he does. Yep. Yeah, man. R two D two is like the he is the real hero. Uh, Victor says, "I'm just having a sip." Yeah, sure, Victor. Okay. Uh, Blair Beverage says, "Also, Natalie Dormer drool from Game of Thrones." I do yes. know she's in Game of Thrones. Sure. Uh, Chris Hanley says, "Am I weird because I don't watch Game of Thrones?" Just asking. No, you're yeah. not, Chris, because I don't watch it either. <laughs> uh, fine. 
<laughs> yes, yes, you are. <laughs> no, don't listen to these people. They don't <laughs> All right, uh, Mark, do you have any choice for uh, a fictional role or actor you identify with? Um, you know, it was Game of Thrones, Jon Snow, probably. But no, uh... what? <laughs> why? Oh. Are you the worst leader in the history? Well, <laughs> yes, he is quite bad. He is. No. Uh, but he he always survives. <laughs> he's because he has cool. blood armor that's as thick as the dragon scales, like blood armor. Oh. He's um, the worst. But no, prob probably in because Kate's such a book lover. If I was gonna pick a book character, it'd probably be like Harry Dresden. I like nice. that. That's good. Yeah, yeah man. <laughs> and you liked? Uh, oh fuck! Why am I forgetting the actor's name? It was an arrow now, obviously. Oh yeah, I like that actor. Oh, yeah, you're not. You can't. Uh, you're not remembering either his name. <laughs> I played. Yeah, Lance. Play yes. quick Lance and Arrow, yeah. Or anyway, yeah, I don't remember his name. A black something. I can't. I don't know. Blackthorn something. Black. Paul Blackthorn. Thank you. There you go. Yes, we figured it out together. <laughs> Teamwork. Yeah, all right. <laughs> uh, in the chat, uh, Dezel says confirmed. Both Chris and Jeff are weird. Thank you, sir. Um, Francis. <laughs> Francis says, I relate to Dwayne The Rock Johnson. I often smell what I'm cooking. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Maria Duran says, hola. She just joined us. Thank you. Maria is actually our, one of our big Patreon supporters. Thank you very much, Maria, for watching. She's awesome, and she helps us out, actually, with uh, other super heat up stuff. Uh, let's see. I just saw, oh, Hero Movie Podcast says, Mama from Mama's Family is who he relates to. <laughs> oh, wow. I thought he was going to go with Mama from Throw Mama from the Train. <laughs> Great movie. <laughs> Uh, right. Kagan Ninja says the doctor for his weirdness and his determination to help and protect the people he cares about, specifically David Tennant. Yes. Yeah. Those other ones sucked. Dezel's missed the question. He says, all right, Dezel, stop drinking so much with your book. <laughs> and the question was, uh, what fictional character and actor who played that role do you, what fictional role and actor in that role do you most identify with? That's what we're talking about now, folks. Uh, but, uh, th we're going to move on now, but you keep putting your answers in the chat uh, or tweet us at super geeked up. Uh, but let's move on to our last game of the night. It is called Real Plot or Not. Uh, okay, wait, I'll share one last one. Belair says, Bernie from Weekend at Bernie's. <laughs> <laughs> right to a dead guy. Okay, great. <laughs> uh, all right. So Real Plot or Not, here's how this works. Uh, so I have five movie titles and log lines. Uh, some of them are real. Some of them I've made up. They all sound ridiculous. All right. So the trick is these guys got to try to figure out if it's a real movie or if it's a fake one that I have made up. All right, so uh, I'll read the title and the log line, and then each of you will say if it's real or fake, and then we'll try to, uh, just try to keep score how many you got right, and we'll see who wins at the end. <laughs> I won. Okay, Kate's just going to cheat. <laughs> yeah. I won. Oh, she plays by the book. Uh... Uh... <laughs> Good night, folks. I've been <laughs> doing it up till now. I'll see you all later. <laughs> Uh, play along in the chat, folks. Uh, oh, on Twitter, Alex Martin just says, did I catch the tail end of a Game of Thrones conversation? Yes, you did. Yes. Sir. You and you did. have to go back and watch to catch it. I think you should ask also, people, if you could be one of the three dragons, which would, which would, which would you be? <laughs> Don't give a spoiler, though. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I, I have no idea what you're talking about. So. <laughs> there are dragons in Game of Thrones. I knew there were dragons. Well, <laughs> yeah. I didn't know that part. All right, here we go. Uh, real plot not. So just as a heads up, you really go, judge this off of the title. Uh, the log lines I usually made up regardless if it's real or fake, okay? So it's really just the title you were judging. I'm just doing the log lines for fun, okay? Um, all right, here's the first one. I'll read the title and the log line. Dino Storm. When the worst storm in history hits the East Coast, people are shocked to find dinosaurs dropping from the skies and wreaking havoc. Real or fake? Feels real. It does actually feel, feel real. real. It's real. Are you all saying real? Yeah. All right. Well, and in the chat, folks, you can say real or fake. The Dino Storm. All well, this does totally sound like one of us Sharknado type movies. This is fake. I made it up. Oh. I would watch this though. <laughs> I know, right? That's the thing. I'm gonna make that. There is a video game uh, or an online game called Dino Storm. I found though. I'm like. <laughs> Because I always search these things to see if they're actually real after I make them up. <laughs> uh, all right, we had, oh, actually, uh, we got half and half fake and real in the chat. So, all right, there you go, folks. 
Uh, all right, so let's see here. Uh, the next one, all right, so nobody got any points on that one. So the next one is Big Ass Gorilla versus Super Shark. <laughs> Who needs a tagline? You know you're totally going to see it. That's Real. the title? The tagline is Big Ass Gorilla versus Super Shark. Now, oh. I know there was like a crazy octopus one versus Super Shark. That was, yeah. Real. It's been a lot of, not a big ass. I don't know, man. But you, you, there's a lot of, you like big asses? Is that what you're saying? Yes. <laughs> hey, I cannot lie. <laughs> uh, I'm going to, I'm going to go, I'm going to go fake. Hey. I, I'm confused. Is that the title or the logo? Right. So sorry, the title is Big Ass Gorilla versus Super Shark. That's the title. That's what you're judging off of. Oh, okay. Marks, what do you say? I'm, I'm gonna probably say fake. I hope it's fake. All right. So Charles, you said fake as well. I did. Okay. What do you say? Real. All right. One real, two fakes. Uh, in the chat, we got almost everybody. Actually, everybody's saying real in the chat. Pierre no. Kelly, Chris, oh. Francis. They have access to Google. <laughs> <laughs> no, but well, hopefully you're not using Google. Hopefully, folks, you're not doing that. No, you're fine. It's actually fake. I made it up. Oh. Woo. Woo. Charles and Mark's at a point. Suck it, books. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Kato was had a heart attack when you said that. It looked like. Sorry. I, I do <laughs> like books. Like I actually love reading. <laughs> reading is also actually awesome. I, yes, I hold I'm it. actually, yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out mathematically, like, there's a, there's a way that you can win like, if you go the opposite way a certain number of times, but I don't know how many. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so uh, that's what I'm sitting here doing. She's, she's, oh, I see. She's trying to game the system. Oh. <laughs> she's like in Vegas, like the counting the cards and stuff. She's smart. She plays better <laughs> than we do. Look at that. <laughs> Hero Movie Podcast says, suck it, books. I want that on my headstone. <laughs> 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 Oh boy! But I see Adam's going to be quite a quite a hoot there at our panel at Dragon Con from these comments. <laughs> yeah, he's going to be great. <laughs> um, here's the next one, folks. Uh, the ghost in the invisible bikini. Here's the that is line. real. Here's the log line. Hey, hold on, sir. <laughs> because it's not like ghosts can wear real bikinis. <laughs> <laughs> the thirteen-year-old in me says that is real all day long. All right, the ghost in the invisible bikini. He says real. What do you say, Kate? Real. Marks. I think it's I think it's real. All right, real across the board. Chris Alley says real in the chat. Folks, this is a movie from 1966. It is real. <laughs> <laughs> what I want to know though is I'm I'm confused by this title a little bit. Why why would a ghost need an invisible bikini? Like, isn't the ghost kind of invisible or is the ghost visible, but her bikini is not, so she's naked? Like, I don't get it. Like <laughs> they want to pay for a Bikini floating in the air. So, yeah. <laughs> but it didn't want the R rating and get kicked out of theater. So. Yeah. <laughs> right. The the X, the X NC rated version is, has, I guess, no big ghost. Out. Just a ghost. <laughs> um, and uh, Blister's Mate says he knew it was real because he has it on DVD. All right. Well, oh, let's wow. know what it is. Here Movie Podcast says ghost streaking hot. And Alex Martin says, 1966, question mark. Yes, that is when it was made, sir. It was uh, 50 years ago. Wow. This must be a popular movie. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's, here's the next one. Two more to go. Wait, so Marks and Charles have two points. Kate has one. Okay, yeah. yeah. So neck and neck still. Vampire Vixens from Venus. Log, <laughs> log, yeah. log line. Much hotter than Vampire Vixens on Earth because, well, Venus is, like, super hot. That is real. That is real. Yeah. <laughs> you say real? Okay. I think Marks. it's probably real. There's been <laughs> sounds like you guys already know this movie. Uh, I don't know if I've heard that movie, but I've heard stuff like that, so it just seems like it could be real. Uh, Vampire, yes, it is a real movie from 1995. <laughs> actually, is when it was made. That was when I was a teenager. I'm just saying. Ah, uh, did you? No you judgment. You I'll, yeah, yeah. I was a teenager. You watch stuff called Vampire Vixen. Of course, <laughs> I would oh, watch wow. it now. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. So wait, you all got that one correct, right? So it's three to two. Mm -hmm. So Kate, you can tie, but you have to get both of these guys to miss it if you're gonna tie. So here's where she might put in her strategy at this point, yeah. possibly. <laughs> all right. Um, by the way, Lister's Mate says about the ghost and the invisible bikini, one of the special effects in the movie is a bikini floating at the beach. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. That doesn't make any sense. So the bikini is visible, but the ghost is not. It's like the title is a total lie. <laughs> I'm not watching this movie, it's false advertising. Uh. 
All right, anyway, here, here's here's the last one. <laughs> Some of these I have a tough time getting through. <clears throat> the title is, <laughs> the title is Blade Plumber. Glug line. When androids take huge dumps and clog up every toilet in the city, a veteran plumber is called out of retirement to solve the sinister sewage crisis. <laughs> Blade Plumber. Blade Plumber. Yeah, because Blade Runner 2049 is coming out, you know, soon. So Blade. No. I, I, got, I got to say no. I okay, gotta say say no fake. That one. Yeah. I'm going to say fake. Okay. I hope. Real. So I think Kane is gonna. I think was gonna go opposite of you guys, regardless. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. probably so. Yeah. Uh, in in the chat, most people say fake. Maria Durant says, "Bah ha ha ha." Real question mark. <laughs> um, <laughs> if no, it is real, I want to know what it's about because it's weird. I name. told you what it's about. I read the log line. Come on. Wow. <laughs> you don't you don't believe that was a true log line? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, no. This movie is fake. I made it up. <laughs> okay. So, uh, Marks and Charles actually tied for the win. Congratulations, guys. Yay! All right. But no, I'm sorry, Kate. Kate, you can still read your book. No, no, no. That's okay. I still won. <laughs> In her mind, she won. <laughs> All right. Um, let's see. Listen to says about Vampire Vixens of Venus. He's pretty sure he saw that in the 80s on USA Up All Night. I used to watch that. <laughs> it's Gilbert Godfrey and Rhonda Shear or somebody, co two hosts of that. Yeah. Uh, Hero Movie Podcast is about Blade Plumber. What they don't want you to know is that he was a poop robot the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> and Dezel says, confirmed Kate won. Oh, don't encourage her, sir. Uh, uh, I, I kind of have to say, given why we knew the titles of those movies, Kate absolutely won. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, in, li on the, in Twitter, uh, Lister's mate wants to know what kind of puppy do you have, Kate Hackett? Oh, me. Hi, come here. Um, this is me. She's a border collie mutt mix, whatever. Um, the DNA test we did said like German Shepherd and some other nonsense, but she's border collie. Hi. Awesome. Uh, you're a lot of support in the chat about winning. Victor says Kate won because she is the prettiest one on the panel. Well, I also take offense to that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I, do too. I don't feel like that's a reason to uh, win. I put a hat on and everything. Come on, guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, that I is actually we very have glasses. The person who reads the most does not have glasses on. <laughs> she made her shit contact. That's an ugly stereotype, and we shouldn't. Oh, no, we should not. Yeah. Um, that is that is a cool hat though, uh, Marks. I do enjoy your fedora there. Oh, well, thank uh, you. I got a New Orleans. So hey. Nice. Not as good as your tick hat, but no. Which, by the way, tick does premiere Friday. So. Oh, does it? Okay, cool. Yes, it does. Be awesome. All right. I, I interviewed the showrunner whenever he was doing the pilot, so I'm I'm uh, excited for him. He's nice. Always... That's cool. Awesome. Uh, all right, cool. So there, that, that's yeah, that's gonna do it for us tonight, folks. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, huge thanks to Charles and Kate for being awesome guests. Thank yeah. you both for coming on. Thank you. And I'm read that, a book just for you. You're gonna go read a book just for her. Okay. <laughs> An entire one. <laughs> <laughs> no pictures or anything. One. Some commitment. <laughs> well, Mark doesn't know you want to just read them. He actually writes books too. He's a published author. That's so cool. Oh, yeah. He read he read the uh, book all about web series. Oh really? <laughs> yeah. What's the go to the, uh, I did the forward for it. Go get the title, Mark. Television on the Wild Wild Web. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you can check it out. Get it on Amazon, folks. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um Dazzles in the chat says, Jeff, don't you dare go. Go where? Don't leave don't oh don't leave the show. We want us to keep going. Well, that's <laughs> very nice. keep going. All right, we'll just stay off here all night and <laughs> keep doing it. Um, <laughs> I'm glad you want more. Uh, all right. Uh, people are drinking again in the chat. They said, "Okay, okay. Um, books. Let's yeah. let's <laughs> give some more links." Uh, Kate, once why don't you give some links out again where people can find you online and your stuff? And all sure. That. Uh, so I'm on Twitter and Instagram at Hack It Kate, uh, and then I'm sorry, my dog is like shredding a pair of pants. Um, and then I'm also on Facebook at 
Uh, it's like actress Kate Hackett. And then Patreon is patreon.com slash Kate Hackett. And you can find me on all of them. Awesome. I like that. <laughs> we'll start doing that when we talk about links. <laughs> um, and Charles, where can they can find you. I am my main show is Rock Out of Podcasting, Rock Out of Podcasting.com, but then Giant Size Team Up Network for all kind of crazy cool geek shows like Breaking the Panel, Botched a DD podcast, Pokemon Go podcast, and uh, Blazing Their Fender Report, and DC on Screen, and a few others. Uh, Toy Power out of Australia, great show there about toy collection. So, all kind of nerdy, geeky stuff for those of you who want to just feel like you're talking with your friends and hanging out and having fun. I like talking to my friends and hanging out. <laughs> then you need to subscribe to all of those shows. That sounds like the place for me. Okay, good. Uh, <laughs> uh, and, and Charles is doing an awesome amount of work uh, helping with the podcast and track Dragon Con. He's going to be at a million different panels. I'll be at a million different panels. <laughs> we had a couple one together. <laughs> yeah. And uh, so uh, if you're going to Dragon Con, come see us. Uh, hang out. Say hi. Uh, again, Super Geek Up will be Saturday, September 2nd, 8.30 p.m. in Colton at Gallery 6. Uh, and my full schedule is at supergeekedup.com events page. You can go check that out, all the panels I'm on. And uh, what's the what's the action? Do you know the podcasting website URL? Yeah, Don't it is uh, uh, dragonconpodcast.com. And that's got the full schedule for the entire track uh, there. And if you can't come, but you still want to see Jeff live and me and everybody else is going to be there on facebook.com forward slash dragon call is ha huh, it's dragon con <laughs> podcasting and new media track is the link on Facebook. Just search it. I uh, will be live streaming every single panel there as they go on. So you can at least oh, watch. Awesome. Right. That's right. I'm going to have to put that up on the website. So yeah, I'm sure some people in the chat actually, because they always want to see us when we do a cons, but most cons don't let us live stream stuff. So, so that's great that you guys are doing that. Yeah. We told them like, hey, we're new media. This is what we do. And they're like, okay. <laughs> you know, <laughs> nice. All right. And Mark's uh, where can, of course you see Mark's every Monday night on our gaming yeah. show, Monday night mayhem. You see him with me. Sundays on DC Action Hour. Well, we will in October when we restart that, when the shows go back to their new seasons. But where else can they find you, Marks? You can find me on or at Mr. Marks, or excuse me, MarksPile.com, um, where uh, you can look at back uh, episodes of Genre Entertainment, which is a podcast where we interview different actors and writers and, and such. Uh, I co host that and um, any writing projects I'm up to or whatever else I'm doing. Uh, and then you can also find me at Twitter, at Mr. Marks. Feel free to tweet me. All right, cool. In the chat, Philip Keating, uh, who uh, I guess maybe just joined us, or just his first comment anyway, says, at least that link's not confusing about the live stream. <laughs> we'll, put it on the, we'll put it on the website. It'll be fine. It'll be easy then. <laughs> we'll put a little link right to it on, our, on Super You don't have to watch. I don't care, Philip Keating. <laughs> Do you know Philip, too? <laughs> Yeah, he's one of the hosts of Botch, the DVD podcast. <laughs> okay, right. so he came trolling me a little bit. All right, stop causing trouble, Philip. I uh, <laughs> uh, like all the people who you know still give you a hard time when they watch it. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Uh, let's see what else we got. Oh, Norbert says he just found the Giant Size website. That was quick. There you go, sir. There you go. GiantSizeTeamUp.com is easy. I made that one up. It's easy. Yeah. And uh, Philip says, ha ha, just being a dick. Okay. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody needs uh, to go buy Khaleesi of Comedy.com. Uh, don't buy it. Uh, That's my next it. Patreon goal. <laughs> there you go. And uh, Necrodia says, I'll go to DragonCon if you take me as a guest and pick me up and pay my way, LOL. No, sure, <laughs> sir, sir. No problem. I'll take care of all that. Actually, if you go into the app, I was just looking at it today, and for some people it hasn't updated apparently, but if you go into the DragonCon app, uh, it says you can vote uh, free of charge for the second annual DragonCon Awards. And for those who vote, they're giving out uh, a random number of tickets to random voters. So you might actually could get a free pass if you get the app and vote in the awards. Oh, awesome. Cool. Cool. That's a good tip. There you go, folks. So get the DragonCon app and vote in the DragonCon Awards. Uh, what, I wish, what are the awards for that? Like books and other stuff, right? I know there's like book awards. The, the, so the Parsecs <laughs> Awards were there every year. Books. <laughs> Uh, which the Parsecs definitely had a lot of book stuff going on. Uh, the Dragon Con Awards, honestly, and then they explained it to me, and I have forgotten. I really am not sure. Because we we can nominate, volunteers can nominate. Uh, 
I think it's just uh, gener- general what's cool at Dragon Con award. And I'm sure they have categories. And I feel bad that I don't know what they are, but that's what that is. That's all right. Kind of. Oh, folks, just, just uh, yeah, contact Dragon Con. Just tell them Super Geek should get an award. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> and the Rock got, a, Rock got a podcast and she get an award. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, there we go. That's right, folks. Uh, and of course, all our stuff is at supergeekduck.com. Uh, a whole bunch of different shows we do, including Super Knocked Up, which is my superhero uh, comedy show. Super Villain Gets Knocked Up by our superhero nemesis. That's also on Amazon. Now, as Kate said earlier, I would highly recommend please watch on Amazon rather than YouTube at this point, because uh, that's way better for us as creators. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, and uh, all right, and uh, everything else you can get at the website, uh, like and uh, you tweet us at Super Geek Up, of course. All right, so Monday night we'll be doing our gaming stream at 8 p.m. Eastern. Next Wednesday we'll be back here, uh, 11 p.m. Eastern for Super Geek Up. Actually, I'm actually flying to Atlanta next Wednesday, uh, earlier in the day, so I will be doing the next Super Geek Up from a hotel in Atlanta near Dragon Con. Nice. Um, so uh, you'll see me there, and Blair Beverage, who's in the chat, will be guest hosting. Uh, we're actually doing a cosplay episode. I thought it was appropriate since Dragon Cop's about to start and it's sort of known for their cosplay. So we're going to have some cool cosplayers on as guests uh, next week. So please check that out. You can get some tips if you want to make a cosplay. Um, sorry. In the chat, Madrick said, we'll start our own con with blackjack and hookers. What? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. Uh, <laughs> That's just a mob boss's, like, back room dude that's, yeah. not- <laughs> that's you're working for tony soprano are you okay <laughs> i'm gonna start a books and beer con <laughs> oh now that's would be popular right. that, yeah. dude, seriously that would be very popular yeah there's um there's a thing where you you go to a restaurant and you just quietly read with other people like it's a meetup and i was like that sounds lovely <laughs> Do you really? That actually yeah. just like so people don't talk. It's a real thing. Yeah. Just That's silent meeting. Interesting. I, that actually, that, you know, I would totally do that. That sounds awesome. Uh, I, I like I like quiet when I read. Actually, <laughs> I'm getting gross in the book. I would like to actually apply that to movie theaters because I find people have no right. idea how to do that in movie theaters anymore. Uh. Uh, this is why I don't go to. This is why I usually not watch movies afterwards nowadays. Mm. Uh, all right, anyway. Um, oh, you know what? Okay, real quick. I actually just, I'm on uh, Blu-ray. I watched uh, Kong Skull Island last night, and I actually thought it was really good. They did a really nice job with that movie, I thought. I, mean, I, saw it. I haven't seen it yet. I'm looking forward to it. It looks cool. Really, it's a good, solid action movie. They did, they yeah. did a good job. Yeah. All right. Uh, here we go. Okay, that's it, for, uh, folks. Uh, thank you. Hope you, some of you can tune in next week. Uh, please support our guests there. Go visit their links. Uh, support Kate and Patreon. Support us on Patreon if you can. Uh, it's always a big help. And uh, that's it. Uh, thank you, everybody, for watching. Thank you if you're watching your post uh, or if you're watching live. We really appreciate it. We will see you next Wednesday night. Until then, stay geeky, everybody.